Hey, it's Steve Barcello back again doing another follow-up on the jellyfish UFO. I put up a video but yesterday, actually day before, and uh, basically what we had, what was available, was just showing some image, which I don't have a heck of a lot more now. I have a little more information of this thing flying over uh, a military base. And... Uh, I mean, going by the name Jellyfish, that's what it looks like. You're going to see it here. I'm going to be playing this instead of just watching me. Uh, but they talk about it flying over, and they, they basically using a thermal camera. Apparently there were people, I got mixed up in the other video. I was saying night vision because they were going back and forth. There were people there with night vision too, and they weren't able to see it with night vision. Only the thermal was able to pick it up, picking up the actual heat and the changes in heat going from like black hot to white hot and you can see that changing so it's changing temperature apparently people on the ground cannot see this thing now we've had everyone say it's from being a smudge to uh, bird poop on a lens to balloons to you, you name it everything uh, we don't know what it is at this point but this they talk about it going out over the water and now they filmed it for quite a while I don't have the full duration they haven't released everything it's coming out drips and drabs like all this stuff does but anyway, apparently we have a little footage, which I'll show you towards the end here, where it actually is up over the water. They do not show it going into the water, unfortunately. I'm still looking for that video, see if it's been released yet. But you can see it's much more distant, and uh, but apparently it does disappear into the water. It's gone in the water 17 minutes. 17 minutes in the water, then comes back out, and at a 45 degree angle, shoots off. Boom, like these... Orbs are seen, like these tic tac things are seen. When it's gone, it's gone, just out of sight, and uh, back into the atmosphere. So this is pretty crazy. I want to show these videos here and just kind of come back up on some of the uh, little more information that's out there. Apparently, these were seen previous. Now, this is not the first time they've seen. This is the first time I guess they've got good video of it. And uh, but around the Pentex plant, which I believe is in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. I should have had that brought up, too. And that's where they actually basically manufacture, uh, I believe it's uranium, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, working on nuclear weapons. So basically they have always bunkers there. And the same sort of jellyfish-looking thing, or chandelier-looking thing that people are calling it, is cruising through. I guess it's some kind of probe monitoring things. We don't know. We're, we're guessing the best here. But uh, this is Jamie Carbell, the one that's bringing this forward. This is, uh, he's the one releasing this. And uh, you guys will recognize him. I mean, he's uh, got the Weapon Eyes series, too. Uh, it's, he does a really good job. He seems to be pretty much a straight shooter. But, you know, I take everything with a grain of salt. But this is pretty crazy stuff. I'm going to play it multiple times here. Just check this thing out. Listen. We need support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I hate to do this stuff in the middle of this. This is important stuff. But uh, it's just it's crazy looking stuff here. Uh, he basically says when it goes over the water, it stops like a dime. That's his, his terminology. And descent stiff. I guess he means it's just you know, rigid and into the water it goes. And like I said, for 17 minutes, nothing. And then he says, boom, it comes out. And at 45 degrees, takes off. We don't have that part. Unfortunately, that hasn't been released yet. It looks like they must have quite a bit of footage. Now, I'm assuming this is all being shot off one of those thermal imagers on the base. It appears to be a helicopter they're filming this from. So I'll see if I can find a, show you what that looks like. It doesn't seem to be shot out of door handheld. This seems to be very steady, very sophisticated equipment. So it's got to be an imager that's mounted to the base of one of these units here. Uh, it's just crazy. Uh, I mean, obviously people are uncomfortable with these things. So basically this means this thing's transmedium. It can come in from atmosphere, it can come into our regular space and uh, move around, and then it can enter the water for a period of time here, in this case, 17 minutes, back up, back into our atmosphere, and then back into outer space. What the hell could this be? I mean, if anyone has this technology, God, I hope it's us. Uh, because this is some scary stuff. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm just trying to bring an update. I wish I wouldn't have put the other video up if I had this the other day. But as, as things come up, like I said, I'm going to keep on putting these videos up here. I'm actually going to set up, uh, start a whole separate YouTube channel just for UFOs. I'll start posting things there. Uh, there's just so much coming out here. 
and apparently we have some stuff coming up in Congress again. There's another meeting which is not open to the public, and as soon as I get some information on it, I'll be posting that too. So just watch this stuff along with me. Tell me what you think. As I get more things, I'll keep on posting them. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Hope everyone's uh, having a good uh, New Year so far. Uh, we're trying to do the same thing here at the museum, plugging along. We're going to get on the road. Actually, I've got my rescue dog laying over in the couch. Uh, Christmas has been very good. Uh, I'll hopefully get on the road maybe this following week and after this weekend. Uh, things are very slow now, so I have more time to do more research and go through stuff. As you can see, I'm old school. Lots of paperwork. Highlighters. <laughs> That's the way I roll. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.